let's dive into five new airports in Africa that you should watch out this 2022. Five, Hoima International Airport, Uganda. Hoima International Airport, sometimes known as Kabul International Airport, is a Ugandan airport that is currently under development. It is part of the infrastructure being built in Uganda as the country seeks to grow its embryonic petroleum sector. It will be Uganda's second international airport, after Entebbe International Airport, when finished. 5. The new airport is anticipated to help the mobilization of equipment for the Uganda oil refinery's construction, as well as the growth of agriculture and tourism in Uganda's western region. This airport would be a huge international airport, capable of handling big passenger and cargo planes, enough to transport the equipment and personnel needed to build the Uganda oil refinery and oil fields. The main runway of the airport was supposed to be 3,100 meters long. The runway was later extended to 3,500 meters in length. As of February 2016, feasibility studies and effect assessment evaluations were still under progress. Construction was set to start in 2017, lead by a partnership comprised of Colas Limited of the United Kingdom and SBI, a Ugandan construction firm. The government of Uganda hired Shikon and Binui, an Israeli construction firm, in February 2018 to build this airport at a cost of $309 million. 4. Uganda's Entebbe International Airport, Uganda Uganda's Entebbe International Airport, which was officially inaugurated in 1951 and is located approximately 40 kilometers from the country's capital city of Kampala, is also undergoing extensive expansion work at a total cost of $552.9 million. The airport has welcomed nearly 3 million visitors in recent years, and its current infrastructure was built to accommodate an average capacity of 500,000 passengers on a regular basis. This is a clear and urgent call for more space and resources. Civil Aviation Authority CA, reports that in the first phase, which was supposed to be completed in May 2021, the airport will be able to handle up to 3.3 million people per year and will also be home to a new cargo hub with the capacity to handle 100,000 tons of freight. Runway building and rehabilitation, terminal construction and modernization, and airfield lighting and communication solutions are some of the aspects of the project funded by the Export-Import Bank of China. Until January 2015, the improvement and expansion project was included in the Civil Aviation Authority's 20-year National Aviation Master Plan, which was unveiled in January. The modernization of the airport will take place in phases between 2014 and 2033, according to the Aviation Plan. Three, Airport of Bujasura, Rwanda. As a result of the ongoing development of the future Bujasura International Airport in Rwanda, the country will soon have its largest international airport, providing commercial flights to and from the wider Kigali metropolitan region. Located in the southeastern part of the country, in the Abuja area of the Saro region, Close to the town of Lima is the airport. The area is roughly 25 kilometers south of the Kigali International Airport via air and around 40 kilometers south of the Kigali Highway. Upon completion, this new airport will be the country's third international airport and the country's eighth total airport. Kigania International Airport, which is now running at maximum capacity, will benefit from the addition. It is projected that the cost of Phase 1 is $418 million and that the cost of Phase 2 is $382 million, totaling $800 million. During the second phase of development, the airport will initially have a single paved runway. A second runway will be built during the third phase. On the surface, it appeared as though Phase 1 would be done by 2018. 
Katoka International Airport, Ghana. A three-phase project to transform Ghana's Kumasi Airport into an international airport and the country's second-largest city is now underway following the successful expansion of the Katoka International Airport with a world-class passenger terminal last year. Currently, work is being carried out on Phase 2 of the project at the Kumasi International Airport. Phase 1 of the rehabilitation project, which cost $29 million, was completed in 2014. The project included the installation of aeronautical ground illumination systems as well as the restoration of the existing runway. Construction on the second phase of the extension project, which will cost $76 million, officially began in November 2018. New passenger terminals as well as several service buildings are being built at the airport during this phase, which is presently underway. One, the construction of a new international airport in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. A fresh new $4 billion airport in Ethiopia's capital city, Addis Ababa, is currently being constructed as Africa's most significant aviation undertaking. The new Addis Ababa International Airport, which is expected to be completed in 2024 and will be built in an undisclosed location, will be larger than London Heathrow and serve as many as 120 million passengers per year. It will have four runways and be larger than London Heathrow, and it will be bigger than the current Addis Ababa International Airport. Ethiopian Airlines, the country's most profitable airline, is expected to benefit from the new airport, which would also serve as a significant regional aviation center for East Africa, according to the country's government. Also now under construction is a $350 million renovation of the city's current airport, which is scheduled to be completed later this year. In today's transportation system, air transport is a critical component. No one can deny that the aviation industry is currently undergoing the most rapid period of change in human history, and airports are no exception to this trend. At nearly 100 years old, air transport is still relatively new compared to rail, which has been around for nearly 300 years. Furthermore, expenditures in new airport construction continue significant. Despite the fact that road infrastructure predates many civilizations and is found in rapidly rising economic and populated regions such as Asia-Pacific, Middle East, and Africa, the majority of airports in Africa are undergoing expansion in order to accommodate the constantly increasing amounts of passenger and cargo traffic. African countries are constructing and expanding major airports in anticipation of an increase in the number of people traveling by air. Numerous other attractive projects, so we are optimistic that the African aviation scene will continue to thrive, allowing the continent's developing economies to realize their full potential. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Share our video with friends and family. Give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our community for more enriching information. Help our channel grow.